So Nick Foles, how is Jacksonville and what do you miss about Philly? Jacksonville's been wonderful. Um, you know, since the moment we got here, everyone's been so welcoming. Um, you know, finding a home, uh, moving the family, getting to know everyone here at the facility. I mean, that's a, that's a huge life change and um, everyone's been really helpful um, along the, with the process. But, you know, the thing, you know, my wife and I love Philadelphia. You know, we, we actually lived in New Jersey the last couple of years and in a great community. Um, you know, just the passion that they show, um, the love that city, you know, we experienced so much of our life there, um, especially as a married couple. So, um, you know, that'll always be a special place in our heart, but we are also excited about the opportunity coming here and, you know, putting some roots down here and, um, you know, really, really you're starting over. Um, you're yeah. getting, you know, you're, you're establishing, um, you know, this team, this family. Um, so it's, it's been a fun process for, it, uh, for us. It's all new. Um, and exciting and sometimes you know you get a little nervous because it's so new. Did you hear that Mick Jagger gave you a shout out at the Rolling Stones concert? Yeah I had a couple people text me and uh, say that so that, that, that was pretty cool because he had played here a few nights before um, actually the night I got back to Jacksonville from uh, you know a little break with the family and um, I guess he went up to Philly and that's pretty cool he did that. Yeah I think he said I was just in Jacksonville and Nick says hi yeah and the crowd went nuts. That's pretty cool that's yeah. pretty cool. So. How about uh, one other sort of question about the past is how many people come up to you and say essentially you changed my life thanks for the Super Bowl you know it, it happens quite a bit it's happened here at the at training camp you know though you know there's obviously a lot of passionate Jaguar fans here um, supporting us which is awesome but within them there's been several Eagles fans transplants um, yeah I've yeah. seen a lot of you know my old nine jerseys and um, you know, they, they always say thank you, um, you know, just how much it means to them. And, you know, and I, and I know because I was, I was a part of it. Um, it'll always, you know, be a special place in my heart. Um, and it's really cool to experience that. But, you know, I, I also, um, you know, am here in Jacksonville with a, you know, franchise that hasn't experienced, a, you know, a championship um, that's long for it, the fans, the city has. And I, I get it because I, I came from one. Um, and it just, you know, the, the focus has to be on the present moment in those situations, but, you know, it's, it's really cool. How much does it help you to know that you came basically from such long odds and you're coming to a place, they were low in the NFL 29th, I think, in scoring offense last year, and they need a lot of help. So you're sort of in a similar situation where the odds are a little bit stacked against you. So how does it feel to be in this situation now, having already dealt with it and kind of conquered it? I think the big thing is I've gone through so much in my career. Uh, my wife and I, you know, we've gone through it all together. So we've had a lot of great conversations um, going into this situation. Um, it sort of gives you a little bit of a blueprint of what steps to take. But at the end of the day, life is uncertain and each day has something new that's thrown at you. So. Um, you know, the one thing my wife and I talked about the other day is, uh, you know, you, you look at the big picture and how much, you know, you feel like you have to do to get ready, to prepare, to help everything. And it, sometimes it gets overwhelming. And, you know, she reminded me the thing that I've always done and remind myself is I really just need to focus on the present moment. And I need to focus on today and what I can do, to, do today in the moment to be the best me and help others, um, to impact others. Um, what do you think you did today on the practice field? to help your team and to help others? You know, I think every time I step on the field, I try to play the play um, like it's a game. Um, you know, I, I try to test new things um, at times, but I try to just stay and I, I remind the guys in the huddle, like, you know, we have to be in this moment. All you have to worry about is this play I'm calling. You don't have to worry about the 15 periods we have left of practice or all the plays that are scripted. All you have to worry about is this one play. And all we have to do is execute this one play. We had a two minute drive early in practice and you know, the key to two minute drives is not thinking five plays in advance because you, you just need to focus on this one play and execute. And we were able to go down and we were able to score a touchdown. Um, and you know, that's what I'm trying to you know, teach these guys is, you know, this, is, this sport can be you know, an anxious sport. Guys can have anxiety. I've seen it, I've experienced it. I know what it's like to play this game. That's how, how it is. But you can eliminate a lot of that if you just focus on what you got to focus on now. You just focus on the play call. You focus on what you have to do today, not what you have to do Friday. Um, and that's a life lesson. That's you know, and I, and I have to remind myself that you know I might have been really good at it you know last year, but I still struggle and I revert back at times. And you know I have to remind myself. So 
um, that's really what I've been focusing on during this training camp. We'll end with this. So you had shortened seasons each of the last two years when you played. Now you're going to be asked to play 16, 18, however many games it is. What is the challenge of that versus what you've done the last couple of years? I think it goes back to what we were just talking about. The NFL season is a long season. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, you have to play a lot of games. So, um, you know, if you look at it as a whole, it's quite a bit. But, you know, I just need to focus on, you know, the, the first game, um, that preparation week. And it's amazing when you just focus on your preparation, what you got to do that day. You just get into the game and you just play. I, I want to sort of, I don't want to think during the game. I want to read and react and just play the game like I do practice. Um, and that's all I'm going to focus on. I'm not going to think about the length of the season. I'm just going to focus on what I can do that present day and time to impact someone else and you know help this organization win. Nick, good luck this year. Thanks, Peter. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.